the honorable member for one warrior. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Lord Luxawa, Lord People, Lord Wawaria. Uh, Mr. Speaker, me taking this time too long. Congratulating you. Because um, now I think I'm happy birthday to you, so happy birthday, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much. Mr. Speaker's question for me, i Lord Mining Minister. Uh, but before me ask him this question, Lord Mining Minister, Mila, take him this time, Lord. Look, sir, and welcome back. People belong Taripori. Now, two people belong Lay City. Now, people belong Makam too. Now, people belong Papa Nguyen all gonna come back now. No got one black in Bagarab. Lord, this la house. Mr. Speaker, me talk people and because you me also news na face na mouse belong all people belong you me. Question blow me long, Minister Blong, mining MOSM. Before long, me story, asking question me like, give him some like legal stock talk and upload this like question. Wow, blow low. Am all pine him go long, 1920s. Am over 100 years, am all pine him go long, wow, blow low. You know now yet. Now, Lord, this is the time he come. No God one pla man Mary Lo Bulolo, he come up in Berlin. Now Lord this last time time to soul. Sample sample of people blow Wagware, sample of people blow Yumi. All starting business the small scale mining. Inside the Wauna Bulolo. This la Now last time last year or last session of Parliament, we can talk strong long. Exploration license. You may give him exploration license. That's where all, all legal man may be you may all work in all legal activities. This time, stop him all along. This is mining lease. You need to want them. This is like exploration older. Now, sample time. This is like exploration license older. Him no sa RM2 long all. Him no sa permit him all. Now, me talk thank you. Uh, Minister, I'm look sour. Lord, this la question blow me. Na uh, grievance, grievance blow me. Na I'm, I'm put him stop. Lord, one plus party law exploration license EL two five four four. But unfortunately, or oh, me no sir, Mister, I'm sour. Lord, this la or no god. All MRA now. Or right in pass he go along all this la small legal glitch older. Now all talk all ba. Rich Rousim, Mrs. Blongol. Mr. Speaker, M, all is the list, little, small, older list, small mining list holders, M, all employing all people, all contribute to this economy, to this country. White money come, Rousim, he go, he go, he go, go, and now me am not going yet, like, Rousim, go, I'm not going so, Mr. Speaker, question for me, MOSM. Minister, are you aware of this letter by MRA to the small leaseholders of Wau Waria and Bululo District that are being terminated because a particular exploration license holder is taking the exploration license over that area? If you are aware, Mr. Minister, what are you going to do about it? You have passed the law already in your mining Edgeway Council to stop that exploration license. But yet, MRA went ahead and gave the exploration license and terminated those small mining leases. That's my first question to the Minister. The second question is, it seems... The law of this country is not allowing our small people to apply for mining lease. Exploration is okay, but the process to get the mining lease for alluvial purpose is a bit suppressive. Is the minister going to do something about that? 
and allow a small people to apply for mining lease for alluvial purpose. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. That's uh, my two questions to the mining minister. The Honorable Minister for Mining. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Let me uh, firstly uh, thank the member for Wawaria for giving me notice of his question. Uh, he WhatsApp his question to me a while ago, so I was able to do a bit of thinking. But thank you very much for giving me a bit of notice so I would be able to give you some uh, good information. Uh, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Acting Speaker, the EL254 uh, this this uh, history of this uh, license is very well documented in the, in the in the system. This extension license was refused by the former minister in the last government. The minister later reinstated this license after he realized that there was a court order preventing him from making that decision. As a result of that decision, or the minister's decision, that wrongly canceled or refused to extend the license, that ground, which is the subject of that EL, became available. And as a result of the ground be becoming available, everybody applied for it. And that's where it became uh, confusing. But, but as a result of the information that the court order was to prevent the minister from canceling the license, the grounds for the rejection are no longer valid. It means that the ground is not available uh, to be applied for. So that extension of the license that was refused by the minister is invalid. So that ground still stands. And the matter is in court, Mr. Speaker. And because the matter is in, co in court, and by virtue of the rules of this parliament, the matter becomes subjudice. That is, I cannot go into the details or the substance of the court decision. All I can say is that the, that the license is, uh, uh, or rather, the ground is no longer available, so nobody can apply for it. In relation to the second question, Mr. Speaker, On, on, your, on your customary land, you are entitled to go into alluvial mining. But sometimes, while you have the right to go into alluvial mining, somebody had gone before you and applied for EL, exploration license. So you may be uh, doing alluvial mining on your land and somebody comes along and says, hey, you are mining, you are mining on, my, on an area that I have a uh, exploration license. So we have tried to clear up this confusion. But when you have your customary land, you cannot be stopped because you have the right to go into mining. All you have to do is inform MRA of the area that you are mining on or you are entitled to mine. But if you are if your mining is on an area that is outside of your customary land, but within the area of EL, it is important that you inform the EL holder before you can go into uh, with with the more sophisticated equipment. If you are just using your, you know, the simple system, you don't have to get permission. But if you're going into a complicated uh, mining, machine mining, you need to get um, approval from the company that holds the EL. 
Mr. Speaker, I realize the member's concern because somebody has a mining license, uh, exploration license, so you have to go to him all the time if you want to go into alluvial mining. But we have uh, thought of a way to go around that problem. That is, we can, by way of a uh, uh, determination from M MRA, or rather, um, mineral, uh, it, there's an, uh, yeah, uh, MRA, we will, we will issue a direction uh, by, w uh, by way of a condition on the license that you can mine on your land without getting approval from the EL holder. I think that's the specific problem you are referring to. And I think we have a solution. So if you are <laughs> having that problem, just contact us and we will issue a direction as a condition of that license that the customary land owners can go in and mine without having to get your permission all the time. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.